everyone, I'm Catherine and welcome to my channel. I primarily post true crime videos, so historic old true crime cases, but I also talk about current popular things that are happening in the media. I've got a whole playlist on the Depp v Amber Heard case. Now in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a very brief update with respect to the alleged potential mistrial with respect to the Depp v Heard case. You're probably already aware if you're watching this video and if you've been following the Depp v Heard case that it was a trial by jury. Now what's happened is Amber Heard's legal team has filed a motion for a mistrial and a retrial because apparently, this is pretty, pretty crazy to think of, but apparently one of the jurors, two of them lived at the same house. They had identical names, first and last name, identical names, but one was in their 50s and one was in their 70s. Now they got the letter saying, you know, you, you've been mandated, you have to come and do jury duty and the wrong one went to court. So the juror that actually came to court was the one in their 50s. And Amber's team are now saying, well, we thought it was the man who was in his 70s and it was apparently the guy in his 70s that was supposed to attend. So of course, they're now trying to say, you know, the wrong person came and, you know, it could have been a different outcome had the right person who was actually summoned to attend had attended, right? So let me know what you think in the comment section below, whether you think that you know, the fact that it was the 50 year old versus the 70, 70 year old would likely have changed the outcome or not. Now, Amber's team are basically saying that there should be a mistrial and a retrial. Um, they're saying that, you know, and they've cited law, which says that the judge should have made sure that each of the jurors sitting there were the correct person. So I, I believe, and this is a massive speculation warning, but I believe that this is somewhat of a publicity stunt right? Because if you actually delve further into the appropriate law, it also says that the it's up to the legal counsel to also raise the an issue with a juror at the time of the trial, right? So you can't just sit on your hands and be like, mm, we thought it was the 70 year old. You're going to know looking at a 50 year old versus a 70 year old. So with respect to my speculation warning, I have a feeling that Amber's team knew that the wrong one had attended, you would have done your due diligence. Actually, <laughs> Amber's team maybe didn't do their due diligence given their performance during the trial, but you would expect both, both legal teams would have investigated the jurors. Nonetheless, I think that this is a big publicity stunt by Amber's team to try and cloud it, cloud the judgment and kind of leave a question mark um, in the air, kind of saying, you know, it wasn't a, a straightforward trial. The rules weren't followed. The wrong juror showed up. It's not a real win for Johnny. And I think that they're doing this as a publicity stunt because, you know, at first glance, you look at the motion and you think, oh, wow, you know, this makes sense. Um, you know, there really should be a mistrial. But when you read further and read that her legal representation should have, it's the duty is on them. Like they should have picked up on this and they should have raised this um, at the time of the hearing. I do not believe that there will be a mistrial or a retrial. So I, I do believe this is a publicity stunt. Massive speculation warning, but I have a theory that Amber and her team knew that this was the wrong juror the whole time. How can you get 50 years old mixed up with 70 year old? Like, they would look different. And I believe that perhaps, speculation, but perhaps they planned, you know, if we lose, we'll keep this up our sleeve as a retrial, as, as a way to try and get a retrial. Um, it's either that, or as I said, they're just trying to blur and leave a question mark and make it seem like for the people that aren't fully invested and don't know the facts of this case and are kind of like, oh, on the fence because they haven't watched an, an ounce of the trial, but to keep those people on her side and think, oh, well, it wasn't straightforward. The wrong jury member showed up. There were all these issues, to, you know, to, to muddy the waters. But I will say this, those of you who know me, I'm a, I'm a divorce lawyer, family lawyer. It is scary, right? You have to think, in 2015, you know, when Amber was young, she's this young, stunning, beautiful woman. And Johnny thinks that he met the love of his life. She was humanitarian. She was involved in charities. And then this happens. She just changes and turns into this. I mean, I, I agree with Dr. Shannon Curry's evidence regarding borderline personality disorder based on the recordings, based on Amber's own words and what I've listened to. Of course, I'm not a psychologist. I'm just saying that's my opinion. So big opinion warning. But be careful out there, guys. Um, you know, it, it's crazy. She, she appeared to be something and then turned out to be something completely different. 
All right, so uh, if you like this video, I'm going to keep giving little updates as this matter continues to, you know, there's just, it seems like every week there's a new update. So I'm going to continue with this playlist. As I said at the beginning of this video, I do also post true crime videos. I have been posting a little bit less frequently lately because my partner and I have, uh, we've bought an investment property and we're about to start renovating. We're going to start doing um, some pretty substantial renovations, which are taking a lot of my time up. So I apologize for the, the less frequent videos. So if you like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.